So this is question two from paper one of the SQA New Higher Specimen paper. We're asked to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of this curve, the cubic curve, and a line. Cubic curves have a typical shape. They're either like this or this and so on. A straight line meeting this has to meet it somewhere. You can't have a curve that goes up and down at opposite ends in a straight line not meeting it. It must meet it at least one point. It could actually be two points, if it's a tangent there, uh, or it could meet it three points. Can't meet it any more than three points uh, or less than one point. So you'd expect a solution to this to have one, two or three at the most points. So to solve this, we set these two equal. We're really solving these two equations simultaneously. We've got this cubic equation and we've got this linear equation. And we're basically trying to find a value of x that gives the same value of y, a point where these two, the straight line and this curve, meet. So we need to set x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 4 equal to 4x plus 4. And once we've got values of x where that's true, we can then plug them in here and find what the corresponding values of y are. So it's a cubic. So we'll get the whole thing on to one side of this equation equals 0. Take away 4x from both sides. That would give us minus 3x on this side. And take away 4 from both sides. The 4 disappears. So we're left with this cubic equation. We try and factorise it. First thing to note is that there's a common factor of x. And this now opens up the possibility that either x is 0 or this quadratic expression is equal to 0. Which means can we factor this quadratic? Uh, which would mean that we would then be able to solve and find all values. There would be three of them if this is factorizable. So a 3 and a 1, 3x and 1x, to get a minus 2x we need a minus 3x plus a 1x. So multiply this out using your first side, sides, and sides, last and you'll be able to check that it does give you x squared minus 2x minus 3. So we've managed to factorise this. So this times this times this is 0. One of these guys must be 0. So either x equals 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. Uh, if x minus 3 was 0, then x would be 3. If x plus 1 is equal to 0, then x would be minus 1. So we have a situation where the line crosses the graph at three points. So let's just substitute back in, in each case, let's deal with them in increasing numerical order. So when x equals negative 1, and we'll use the simplest of the two equations, we could use this complicated one and get the same answer, but we'll use 4x plus 4 to get y. So y equals 4 lots of negative 1 plus 4. So 4 lots of negative 1 is negative 4, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So that gives us the point negative 1, 0. Let's try x being 0. And y is 4 times 0 plus 4. 4 zeros are 0 plus 4 is 4. Therefore, we've got the point 0, 4 as a point of intersection of the line and the curve. And finally, when x equals 3. So y would be 4 times 3 plus 4. That's 12 plus 4, that's 16. So it implies the point 3, 16 as a point of intersection. So we've done the trick. We'd maybe round it off with a sentence. The points of intersection are negative 1, 0, 0, 4 and 3, 16.